Hi, welcome to Pitchbook Wrap Up for December. My name is Kirsten Neeland and I'm a children's author. Um, each month to support the local children's book industry, I go to a independent bookshop, choose my favourite picture book, review it, wrap it up and give it away. So if you'd like to go in the draw this month, please like my page and comment or share my post. Um, this month I have chosen The Snowman's Wish by Sophie Masson and illustrated by Ronak Tay. Um, it's only been out a couple of months um, and I heard Sophie read it um, at her online um, launch and it was so lovely I just really wanted it to be my December picture book wrap up. I went to my local bookshop and they couldn't get it in they tried so in the end I had to buy this one direct from the publisher. Um, they're a small publishing house um, Dirt Lane Press and um, they only publish a couple of books a year and I think they operate as a charity and they produce some really beautiful books. They try to produce books that maybe aren't super commercial and that might not get published somewhere else. So check out some of their other titles. Um, this is not about Christmas, but this time of the year, it sort of reminds me of that sort of wintry um, European sensibility that a lot of Christmas books do have. Um, uh, so... It also uh, speaks to me of classic fables um, and just like a classic fairy tale, it starts. The snowman was new to the world and the world was new to him. It has a beautiful rhythmic structure that takes us through what the snowman sees, hears, smells and feels as he's there in this woodland and um, what he can experience around him and the children play around him and at the end of each of the sections with the different senses it has the lovely refrain how beautiful the world looks or how beautiful the world sounds and um, the passing of winter is shown as the snowman gr gets gradually smaller as the book goes on and, and at the end, he whispers. Um, how I wish I could stay. Um, and the children wish that too. So nothing lasts forever. And the world turns and the earth spins. And the last of the winter snows are gone. And... The snowman. But this is a magical tale of transformation, and so maybe wishes can come true, just not exactly how we imagine they might. And the children come out, and under the old pine trees in the park, something has grown. So, yeah, you should definitely get this one to have a look. Um, of all the beautiful books that I've um, reviewed and wrapped up and given away this year, I think this might be the one that I'd most like to keep. Um, it's such a simple story, yet perfectly written, perfectly formed um, story of change and um, the beauty that can be found around us if we take the time to look, listen, smell and feel. I love it and I'm sure you will too. If you'd like to go in the drawer, I'm repurposing some Christmas wrapping because I think this beautiful little sort of snowdrop Australian Christmas flower really fits this fits. Um, so if you'd like to go in the drawer this month, please uh, like my page, comment or share my po post by uh, 6 p.m. on New Year's Eve. And um, thanks for coming along on the Pitchbook journey with me this year, the Pitchbook wrap-up journey. And um, I'd like to wish everyone a happy new year and let's hope it's filled with um, lots of good things, lots of books, love and laughter. Okay, I'll see you in January. Bye.